Hey everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and we're gonna run some benchmarks here on the Nexus S. We are not running Quadrant. Quadrant does not work 100% with gingerbread. Don't wanna bother wasting my time and yours uh, showing off an app that's not quite right yet. So we're gonna dive right in here to Linpack. You see it's 14.5 from my last run. Uh, yeah, I can never get these done in one take, which works out well sometimes, but as you can see, it benchmarks here in Linpack right around 14, which for the Hummingbird processor is very good. Gingerbread has done nicely for it. Let's back out and we'll jump here into Neocore. Everybody's familiar with this. It benchmarks the uh, older version of OpenGL, which the Nexus S fully supports. Let's run the benchmark and see it's a, you know, a lot going on there in what looks like a little miniature Gotham City with explosions and tanks and fire trucks and whatnot. Uh, real world performance is just as good. You know, the benchmarks are made to showcase things like the graphic performance. Uh, you play a game and it works and looks just as good as this does. Uh, and newer games look just as good as we'll see here in a few minutes when we run Mina Mark. But I'll just be quiet now and let you enjoy the flying robots on a killing spree. And there we go, 55.6. That's more than acceptable. Uh, you're gonna love playing any game at that kind of frame rate, so that's not a problem. Uh, let's check out the standard frame rate. And yes, when I do benchmarks, I do not shut the services of my phone off. I'm not gonna shut them off when I run the apps, so there's no sense in shutting off the uh, services when I do the benchmark. And you can see I just got a message come in. Let's check out just the standard frame rate of the screen. Uh, we're running FPS. Uh, and I'll have links to all these applications you know, in the post. That way you can see how it measures up against your phone and know whether or not you'd be interested in upgrading. I can see a nice bell curve there. A little bit of red, which means it's outside of the range we want. Uh, the average is 55 frames per second. The deviation is seven. I've seen better, but again, that's more than acceptable. Let's back out of here. And since we couldn't run Quadrant, I dug up Nina Mark, which does show off the new OpenGL uh, ES 2.0, I think it's called, that the Nexus S fully supports, just like many other new phones. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Get things centered, because it, it looks beautiful. Uh, that I do want to, you know, put out a little bit of bias. It looks gorgeous, just as nice or nicer as any other phone I've tried. See the cameras flying around and there's butterflies and birds and trees and reflections and sky and it's got a lot going on at one time, which is, you know, that's why it's a benchmark. It's putting it under stress, seeing how it performs. And to me, it performs really well. You notice the smoke coming out of the cabin. It's not choppy and it doesn't have hard angular edges you know that's that to me is a sign of you know what's good 46.6 frames per second uh you're not going to complain about that when you're playing you know uh any type of 3d game so as far as benchmarks are concerned the nexus s does just fine there may be other things you like or don't like about the phone but you can't say it doesn't perform good enough uh, whether or not it performs good enough to compete with the next generation of handsets is anybody's guess. And when we get those, we'll certainly put them head to head and try it. That's all I've got for you today. You all have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.